All right, everybody, Mr. Myess is here once again with you, and we're doing some statistics today, and we're going to describe the associations of two quantitative variables in scatter plots. So let's look here. Let's just get going here, guys. So I have for you a beautiful sentence frame, and you can use this sentence frame. It'll work for anything, but we want to make sure that we're describing these associations by describing the strength, the type, and the direction. So STD, the, this is what I went over in a previous video. Sometimes um, professors call it strength association and direction or strength direction and association. I'm sorry, not form. Form. Form is the other word. Strength direction and form. So let me just quickly talk to you about each of these, what they are, and let me discuss my sense frame. So when you're doing this in context, you're going to write it as the association between blank and blank and blank and blank are going to be your explanatory variable in the context of your problem and the response variable in the context of your problem. These are interchangeable. You can do it either one, either one first. This association is going to be the strength. The strength is either going to be strong, moderate, or weak. Try not to use things like moderately strong or moderately weak or just stick to the three words and you'll be okay. The type is either going to be linear, curved, or have no form at all. So um, you're going to, well, it depends on what it looks like. So you're going to say what it is. And then you're, if it is linear, you're going to say whether it's positive or negative for the direction. So strength, direction, or form, or in our case, strength, type, and direction. Um, just remember it as your statistics STD. So let's take a look at a couple of examples here. So my first one is price and quality. Suppose I've got a situation where I'm looking at furniture sold at local warehouse stores, and we've, de we've determined the price and the quality on some sort of rating scale, and we've put these in a scatter plot of quality being our explanatory variable and price being our response variable. So let's describe the association between price and quality of furniture sold at a local warehouse. So the, to start this, using my sense frame, we're going to say the association between quality and price of furniture sold at local warehouse stores. So there is our context. Easy. We just take it from our quality and we take it from our, so our explanatory variable and our response variable. And look, guys, we can also just take it from the stem of the problem. Okay, so the association between quality and price of furniture sold at the local warehouse stores is, okay, is strength. What's the strength of this association? Well, to me, it looks about moderate. It's not super strong. Um, it might be a little weak there, but we're going to go with the term moderate. Moderate's the easiest one. Um, if we're trying to, if we're like, eh, it's kind of weak, eh, it's kind of moderate, we'll just go with moderate. All right, makes it easy. Strength. Type. What type is this? Well, this is clearly linear. It's going this way. Uh, it's not great, but it's definitely not curved. So we're going to say it's moderate, it's linear, and it is positive. It's going up in a general direction of positivity. So like in my general direction, I'm positivity. So positive, positive direction. That's it, folks. Period. Stop. Don't add more stuff to it. That is all you got to discuss. Now, if there is a strange outlier someplace, we might want to discuss an outlier. Now, this one might be an outlier, but look, guys, in general, this is going to get you where you want to be. This is the association, and most likely, if you don't, I mean, if there is not a clear, like, crazy, crazy outlier out here, then this is good. This is going to get you all, if you're in an AP class, this is going to get you the whole AP credit. You don't have to elaborate on anything else. That's all, okay? Keep it simple. Let's take a look at example two, calories versus weight loss. So here what we've done is we've got a group of men and they participated in a calorie reduction experiment, which they ate a certain number of calories restricted their diet to a certain number of calories, and then they looked after 30 days on their weight loss. So we're going to describe the association between the calories consumed by these men and the weight loss they experienced after 30 days. So again, we start off with the association between calories consumed by men 
and the weight loss they experienced after 30 days. Well, I just basically copied this part right here, right? So you don't have to think too hard on the first part to get your context in, okay? So what's this association? The association between calories consumed by men and the weight loss they experienced after 30 days is, look, at that's per, that's real, this is strong. That is strong. So that's the strength. Strength is strong. The type, this is definitely linear. So the type is linear, and this is negative. As we consume more calories, the weight loss goes down. We don't lose as much weight, and it's negative. Period. Stop. We're done. That is how we describe association in context. My S is out. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. We'll see you next time. My S is math.